into your heart and Allah is always there. You are never alone. You are never alone. Through sorrow and through grief, through happiness and peace, you are never Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new episode of Family Issues. In this uh, episode, uh, we will be tackling the issue of Birr al-Walidayn or the kindness and uh, dutifulness to um, our uh, parents. Um, it is a topic that you chose, uh, uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, after we uh, finished uh, four consecutive episodes here um, uh, in Family Issues. Um, on the issue of happiness in the uh, family and leading a happy uh, family uh, life. Uh, we do thank you for choosing uh, that uh, topic and this is how we will be continuing here in the program inshallah receiving your comments and suggestions at our uh, Facebook accounts and our um, uh, uh, um, and uh, at our email uh, uh, account and we will be filtering uh, um, your um, uh, recommendations and, uh, and choosing what we believe um, uh, could be of most uh, benefits uh, uh, so um, we do thank you again for choosing the topic for us and uh, we do uh, um, also want to tell you that we will keep our promise uh, inshallah that th those questions that you sent for us um, uh, and we were not able to answer um, in this uh, in the previous episode in last week's episode we will be answering uh, um, here today uh, uh, tonight in uh, in this episode inshallah um, in the company of uh, our dear guest uh, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Adenawi, uh, professor of uh, Islamic studies and lecturer at Al Azhar uh, University. Um, Salamu alaikum, Dr. Dr. Dinawi. Jazakumullah khairan. Well, uh, thank you for being here. And uh, dear brothers uh, and sisters, um, uh, we will be talking in in this episode, uh, as we said, about Bir al Walidain. We'll be talking about the status of Bir al Walidain in Islam, the importance, the significance, the thawab that comes out of it, and also the uh, um, uh, um, aqab, or the punishment that uh, w would come uh, from otherwise. Uh, we will also be um, uh, talking about uh, whether, um, uh, um, how can we manage our time so that we always find times uh, for um, uh, our uh, fathers and, uh, and mothers. Uh, um, and uh, what are the means of uh, bir uh, al walidain uh, especially when they grow uh, older, uh, especially uh, um, uh, in the kibar uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran in Surah Al-Isra, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Wa qada rabbuka alla ta'budu illa iyahu wa bil walidain ihsana, إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرة صدق الله العظيم um, you saw some of your own comments your brothers uh, and, and sisters uh, to our Facebook uh, account will be um, also uh, um, taking those uh, comments here live and waiting for your comments and suggestions uh, at our Facebook account and waiting for your phone calls uh, here um, uh, in the uh, program and the, uh, the addresses and numbers appearing uh, on uh, the uh, screen inshallah. Um, Dr. Dinawi, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran <coughs> in more than one spot uh, yeah. talks about uh, Bidr al-Walidayn and we know that uquq, uh, which is the opposite of uh, of bir, or the opposite of uh, dutifulness and kindness to um, uh, our parents, uh, is one of the al kabair. Yeah. Um, please uh, talk us through. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Subhanallah. When you look at the Quran, you will be amazed to find that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala linked p kindness, dutifulness to parents after his worship. The verse you mentioned in the chapter of Isra, there is another verse in the chapter of Al Imran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعَوَلُوا اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Worship Allah alone, worship Him alone, and then be kind 
be dutiful, be obedient to your parents, right? In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We commanded or signed in Sana Walidayu Hasna, all people, men in general, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to be kind to his parents. Because why? Because they are the reason. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are the reason behind our existence. Without our parents, me, you and our viewers, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here in this life. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us in the Quran in so many verses in the chapter of Luqman, the chapter of Al-Aqaf, the chapter of Al-Ankabut, the chapter of Al-Isra, the chapter of Al-Imran, the verse I have just mentioned now. Mm. So there are loads. If we trace back mm. the verses, uh, they are more than 100 verses in the Holy Quran that talk about to be kind, to be dutiful to your Subhanallah. Spirits. And um, I guess we can deduct a lot of meanings uh, uh, from um, the ayah that, that says وَصَحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفَة yeah. even if uh, uh, they, they they ask you to uh, to, to take another partner to worship someone else right. Allah subhanallah so, so, so don't obey them there but you have to also be friends to them th even th if Allah. they are, they yes. are mushrikeen if they did yeah. their best Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. says in the chapter of Luqman mm. if they struggle if they did their best if they used all means to take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. don't follow them but again وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفَة so, Look, they are uh, worshipping someone else. They are disbelievers, atheists, whatever their religion is. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفَ Be kind to them. Lady Asma, may Allah be pleased with her and with her father. She said to the Prophet, O Messenger of Allah, my mother is not a Muslim. Am I allowed to visit her? The Messenger of Mercy, he said, visit her and be kind to her. Hmm. Right. Subhanallah. Yeah. So, um, so under no circumstances or no cases um, shall there be um, uh, um, a rift or a row between uh, sons and uh, and parents. It, it is not allowed uh, in, no. in Islam. No. Even if the father himself was disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa taala, this doesn't mean doesn't give me the excuse to be harsh to him as. Hmm. Unfortunately, some people sometimes do. When mm -hmm. their parents, their father doesn't pray, he doesn't talk to him nicely, he forsake him, he, he live away from him. No, try to be kind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if he is a disbeliever, if he worships someone else, mm -hmm. be kind to him. Mm -hmm. Never neglect him. Never be uh, ungrateful to him. So, so uh, 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 the question here is, wh what is the status, the exact status of... Uh, walidain in Islam, the importance, the hierarchy, the importance of that uh, act of, Is of worship to Allah. Islam made uh, parents, made kindness, dutifulness to parents as the path, the, the road that take you to paradise. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes. La aqul li The one who is ungrateful to his parents, he will not enter paradise. If someone prays day and night, 24 hours, fast the month of Ramadan, fast every uh, Monday, Thursday, three days of each month, but he is undutiful to his parents, he will not enter paradise, right? Because the Prophet Sallallahu he said to a man, uh, Be close to her, be kind to her, because she is the reason that will take you to paradise. In another hadith, when the Prophet Sallallahu was going to deliver a Friday speech, he said three times the word, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. And then when he finished, someone asked him, Oh Messenger, we heard you saying Amin three times. What's that? He said, one of these cases is a person who lived during the lifetime of his parents or one of them, and he didn't enter paradise. Uh, let him be humiliated, let him live in poverty. So subhanAllah, I'll tell you also another important hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu radahu, as reported by Al-Bukhari may Allah have mercy upon him he said O Messenger of Allah ayyul amali ahabu ila Allah which kind of deeds is most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet said ta'abdullah wa la tushrik bi shay'a worship Allah alone don't take another partner with him and what comes next kindness to parents and third is uh, uh, sorry, is, is, is to say uh, uh, falsehood or something like this. This is a major sin. So, uquq yeah. al-walidayn were not dutiful to them. Another hadith reported by Imam Ahmad and was authenticated by Dhabi. Did Aisha, she says, the Prophet Sallallahu said, I entered paradise and I found someone reciting Quran. I asked, who is he? 
They said, this is Haritha ibn al-Nu'man. The Prophet said, this is birr. The birr, kindness to his mother, made him enter paradise. And it is reported that Haritha, he was very dutiful to his mother. So oh. this is the status of parents in Islam. Right. Um, obviously, uh, uh, al-birr, uh, the dutifulness, the kindness, is even more important when parents grow older. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says yes. and uh, the, um, uh, our dear uh, brothers and sisters or viewers chose the, the, the topic uh, uh, specifically uh, uh, regarding bir to old yeah. and yeah. older parents can you yeah. um, tell us why it sure. is uh, uh, indeed more important yeah. uh, to, um, to be keen on acts of bir to um, your parents when they are older, older. Yeah. You know, subhanAllah, because this time now it's our time to pay them back. They sacrificed, they did a lot, they worked day and night, whether the father or the mother, and now they are getting older. So it's your time, it's your turn, it's your duty now to pay them back because they did many things for you. And we know very well that when they get older, they might not be able, for example, to uh, clean themselves, to go to the toilet, to even to, to eat properly, right? So it's my, my duty to be kind to them. It's meant to be patient with them. We know very well, subhanAllah, that how do we lose memory? We lose memory by losing the names of things. Right? If someone, for example, watch this, he would say, oh, this is called uh, a table. So the father or mother will start forgetting things. So we have to be patient. When he takes some time to remember the name of objects, I have to be patient with him. And I think, you, we, before you remember the video, when the man was uh, a young man, uh, his father asked him about a bird and the, 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 the boy got a little bit bored because the father repeated the question again. So we have to be patient with them. We have to do our best because we again, we will never enter paradise if we are not kind to them. If we are not, we will enter, we will not enter paradise, sorry, if we have been harsh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanallah, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is great, he said, لا تقل لهما أف You know why? Some scholars said because when parents, sorry for saying that, when they get older, sometimes they might urinate or do something like this. And when you smell something like this, you should never say the word oof as a, way, as a word of, for example, disgust or whatever. No, be patient with them until the last day of their life. Because again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala linked. The Prophet ﷺ, he made it a condition for you in order to, to go to paradise, be kind to them. If you are not kind, then you are far away from paradise. Mm, subhanallah. subhanallah. And uh, also here, um, uh, the mother has a very special status. And uh, also in the Holy Quran, in many hadith, um, uh, um, it is clear how the mother had um, uh, a tough time when she was yeah. uh, uh, during the pregnancy and then during uh, the, the, the delivery and so on. Yeah. So uh, c could you focus yeah, for yeah. us on that? A man one day he was asked the Prophet about uh, whom should I keep his company or your company. Then the Prophet said, your mother. The man asked the same question. He said, your mother, your mother three times. And then at the fourth time, the Prophet, your father. Why should the Prophet focus on the mother here three times? You know why? Because usually we start recognizing things when we are about four or five years, right? So the area from the, the period from in which we were born till the year four or five, we don't remember anything. So the Prophet here wants to attract our attention through all this time, we didn't see ourselves when our mothers were pregnant. We didn't see ourselves, we can't remember when the, our mothers were, for example, breastfeeding us. So this period is forgotten in our minds. So the Prophet here is trying to attract our minds. You should never forget this. Because the mother, she suffered a lot. She might lose her life when she gives birth. Sometimes a mother might die, for example, for the sake of getting her son out or for the sake of delivery, right? The mother, again, in the issue of breastfeeding, in the issue sometimes, you know, you have kids. So, so and the have whole Quran says, wahnan ala wahn. Yes, yes, mm. wahnan ala wahn, right? Mm. So mm. it's nine months, subhanAllah. Mm. Remember how, how mothers, they can't sleep, they mm. can't eat well, they can't move when they are about to deliver the baby, right? So it's a very difficult suffering for her. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was saying in insana gwalidai hamalat ummuhu wahnan in the chapter of al-Haqqaf, in the chapter also of uh, Luqman, in the chapter of al-Ankabut. Remember Jesus alayhi salam. He said, وَبَرًّا بِوَالِدَتِهِ 
I was kind to my mother. Sayyidina Yahya alayhi salam, Allah says about him, وَبَرًّا بِوَالِدَيْهِ He was kind to his parents. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose a very important characteristic of two prophets. We have Yahya alayhi salam, we have Jesus alayhi salam. Remember how Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was, the father of all prophets. Sayyidina Ibrahim, his father, he was a disbeliever, but he was talking to him nicely. Ya Abati. Oh my father, don't worship the shaitan, don't. And when he found no way to uh, debate with his father, he said, Salamun alayka, sa astaghfiru laka rabbi, innahu kana bi hafiyya. Greeting, salam. And I'll ask after all these things, and I'll ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you. So how great. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Allows Dr. Danawi, dear brothers uh, and sisters, to take in uh, some of your comments now. Uh, we have a, a Facebook comment uh, uh, that we want to uh, take in here. Um, it is from uh, Tuba Sheikh. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Uh, well, our parents are, are everything. I really want to do everything for my parents. Nowadays, as I am uh, engaged in my studies because of exams, I feel every second that I'm wasting my time as no one can get this precious thing, although using the, wor the word thing is not good here back but I am the only daughter I feel that my mom sits alone and all that although she does not feel anything like that but please tell uh, of us tell us how can we make um, our parents happy as there is no love in this world that replaces the love of our parents I don't know who are those people who leave their parents in old age homes I don't want to be among those people who regret after the death of their parents that I wish I can do this for my parents. I really want to do every single thing for my parents so that I never regret that. Barakallahu um, fiki, sister uh, uh, Tuba. Uh, and uh, we uh, want a comment from you, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Nari, on that beautiful uh, may, may Allah give uh, her the best message. reward. And uh, really, she uh, had said very beautiful and nice words. I don't know how can we be far away from our parents. Many people, subhanAllah, and I hate, forgive me for saying this, I hate what's called Mother Day and these things. People neglect their parents all the year and just they remember them only one single day. No. How many hours we spend every day? Many people, we use, we waste a lot of time on the Facebook, Twitter, these things, emailing people, phoning people. Why shouldn't we dedicate part of our time, at least 30 minutes, an hour, to visit them if they far away, to just say, Assalamu alaikum. Dad, how are you? Mom, how are you today? Are you getting well? Are you, uh, subhanAllah. Because I know very well that most of us, we are busy, many things, but we need to get the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to go to paradise. And we will not again enter paradise as long as we are not obedient, dutiful to our parents. So, um, um, uh, indeed, is getting too busy, um, you know, at the expense of uh, um, seeing your parents or contacting them, would that be considered some form of uh, of uquq or, s or some form yes. of not um, performing bir? Definitely, mm -hmm. because nobody can say I am busy for 24 hours, mm -hmm. right? If I can make, subhanAllah, when we go to work, we have a plan. Everything, we have plans. So why mm -hmm. shouldn't we put our parents as priority on our agenda? Before I go to work, Say to them, Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Say any good word in the morning, for example. Go and kiss your father's hand or your mother's hand, right? To get blessing, to get baraka from them. If they are not happy with you, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not happy with you, right? So it's, it's not, I can't find, I can't say this is a reasonable justification for someone who neglects his parents saying or claiming that he is busy. Why? He is not busy when he goes out with his, for example, colleagues, friends. They go out, they, they eat, and they, they sometimes they, they laugh and do all these things. But when we talk to them, oh, how about your parents? Says, oh, I'm, I'm very busy, I'm sorry, forgive me. No, at least once a week phone them, at least twice a week, at least. I, I can't forget, really, uh, uh, a case when I was reading a newspaper one day, and I, I, I read a, a news, uh, a father, he died, and they found his body after six months. Nobody. I said, how about his sons? How about his daughters? SubhanAllah. What kind of undutifulness, what kind of uquq do those people have? Mm -hmm. so, so, so could you give us some advice, Dr. Denary, on how to 
um, manage time so, uh, so as to make sure that we do have time for Bir al Walidain as we do uh, for work and as we do for caring uh, 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 for our children. Uh, all of us, we, we love what's called the weekend, right? So why shouldn't we make once a month one of our weekends, take my kids and, okay, all okay, kids today we are going to visit our grandma and grandpa, right? So they will be happy, take gifts with them and teach them because one day you are getting older and your sons and daughters will do the same thing. If you are, remember, subhanAllah, it's, it's a matter of, as I said, we are paying things back. If you are dutiful to your parents, your sons and daughters will do the same thing. If you are undutiful to them, the same thing will be done to you. I remember a story when a man, after, subhanAllah, uh, finishing the Friday prayer and his son, he carried him and his children and he threw him away. And people said, oh, why shouldn't you say any word to your son? He said, I can't say anything because I carried my father and threw him in the same place 20 years ago. Right? So it's a matter of we are paying things back. Mm. If you are kind to them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's, th there is no problem at all. Like, oh, may Allah give all people success and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, help people to get more money and, 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 and a better life. But we can't neglect our parents. Right? Just do it a month. Once a month. Make once, a a week, once, once a week. This is the way to make it once a month. Yeah, but how about yeah. when you finish the Friday prayer, for example, mm. uh, you are unable to visit them, give them a phone call. Mm. Phone calls are not something expensive. Mm. Right? Uh, text them a message. Uh, try to p give yeah, but, them but gifts. There is the act of you know, just calling or, or over the it's phone. It's not or, enough. Or, not yeah, enough. or, or SMSing or so. Is it I mean, is it... Uh, but but, but uh, hmm. I said, this is, this is the least thing hmm. I can do. About for email. Yes, hmm. but we can, we, hmm. you can visit them, hmm. for example, just, uh, uh, I can work hard, right, and then dedicate an hour in, in, in once a week, for example, to visit them. Hmm. Because visiting them, you are getting, subhanAllah, if a person is going to visit his friend, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving his, his, his sin. How about the one, the one who is not dutiful to his parents, who is uh, uh, cutting the relations with his family members or with his rahim, he is cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mal'oon. Because mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in the chapter of Muhammad, فَلَعَسَيْتُمْ إِنْ تَوَلَّيْتُمْ أَنْ تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَتُقَطِّوا عَرْحَامَكُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ لَعَنَهُمُ اللَّهِ They are those, those people who cut the relation with their family members, arham, kinship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed them according to this verse. So, um, uh, is it better uh, um, uh, to, to, to live in a place next to them as much as you can uh, um, um, so that y you can serve your parents when, when they need you to do so? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it is difficult to, to, to manage. Sometimes some people are away, some people are, are living in other countries, other provinces. Yeah. Uh, um, sometimes in one big city, you can yeah. find uh, you know, uh, uh, traffic uh, causing uh, two and three hour um, uh, trips, yeah. but um, the idea of choosing a place next to the parents and, and, and planning from the very beginning for, for that if possible, yeah. uh, is that a recommendable idea yeah, and, and how will it help in, um, uh, in achieving the goal of bid? Yeah, this is highly recommended. Mm. Uh, if, if, if it's possible for you, for example, if, if you have work or business and you can manage to get a home closer to them, right, as I said, uh, this will give them the feeling of comfort, the feeling of security, right? As it, uh, I read a story about a man, his, his son was undutiful to him, and his son, he sent the grandson to, to visit his grandfather and every every second every minute the father is, is ringing oh oh my father how about my son how about my son how about my son he said oh you forgot about me and now you are asking about son remember i am a father i am like you but you don't you don't phone me you just you are now just asking about your son how about me how about your father so the son he recognized that he was mistaken and he started to uh, be kind to his father. So it's, it's highly recommended, for example, but if it's difficult, at least, uh, brother, uh, many of us, we are thinking about where are we going to spend our summer holiday? Where are we going to spend the weekend? Where are we going? We, we plan very well. We save a lot of money for this sake. Why shouldn't we save money, for example, to visit our parents? Take something very, even something symbolic. It shouldn't be something very expensive. So we should do our best 
to try to be closer to them in order to help them, serve them, visit them. How about if, if a father, for example, is unable to reach the ambulance, or is, is unable to be admitted to the hospital, for example, whom should he ring? He's going to ring the nearest one, which is his son. So in case of he is, 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 for example, in critical condition, or he is ill, or someone has to take care of him, and nobody can take care of him uh, better than his son or better than his daughter. Barakallah feekum, Dr. Dinawi. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, allow us to take a break here um, and come back for the second and final segment of uh, this episode of Family Issues. Please do stay with us. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Hoda TV's newest breakthrough into the world of Islamic media and academics, Hoda Academy, with courses in Akida, Tafsir, Fak Hadith and Arabic, and your most favorite Hoda TV scholars, Hoda Academy is your chance to enrich your mind and heart. Prices are affordable, the knowledge is authentic, the scholars are real, and the location is your home. Since Hoda TV's inception and the dream of Hoda Academy has been on our minds, after years of hard work, the dream is now here. Just like Hoda TV, Hoda Academy is a non-profit project and your tuition fees go straight back into developing more courses. Knowing the basics of Islam is an obligation, but in-depth knowledge of our deen is reserved for those Allah guides to take the extra step. Your chance to become a student of Islamic knowledge is here, literally at your fingertips. Take a leap and join us today. Hoda Academy your gateway to authentic Islamic knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back. Um, as Dr. Dineri, so give us some, some tips on, on uh, different means of um, bir. Uh, um, some you know nice touches nice gestures yeah. uh, um, uh, that ca can make for different forms of of bid yeah. Cer certainly acts of dutifulness or kindness to, to parents are not just you know by calling them or by visiting them or uh, there could be other yeah. uh, um, um, areas uh, uh, of bid for instance if if you can serve one of their friends that had asked for a favor, right. then that, that would be yes, an, an yes. act of good and, and, uh, and so on. A very so, good idea, yes. Yeah. It's, uh, as it said, even mm. part of, of uh, your bed or kindness to parents is to mm. be kind to their friends also. Mm. So you know very well that your father, for example, loves someone, right? So uh, you can uh, ring him, you can visit him, you can mm. whatever. There are so many tips. How about if I, for example, one day I take my father and mother, right, and go to a restaurant, for example, take them, spend the weekend with them, take them out, like if there is a cruise, there is a trip, there is anything like this, right? Uh, because usually they, they love to have the feeling that they are being taken care of. You are caring for them, right? Yeah, Even that, that you are paying back. Yes, if, yeah. if, if they love something, if they love uh, sweets or whatever, a specific type of food, uh, uh, take them. If they sp prefer a specific uh, restaurant, for example, take them to this restaurant. And always, you should never go to them and complain about, for example, your financial status, and mm. I don't have enough money, mm. I can't make a living, I can't, because this will make them sad. Mm. Right? You mm. can't go to them and say you have some problems with your wife. No, you should never try to not to make them sad as possible as you can. Yeah, right? Allah. Your main job, subhanAllah, is to make them happy by being dutiful, by visiting them. And, and th there are, subhanAllah, so many things. Barakallah, Fikum, Dr. Dr. Dinawi. We have with us now uh, uh, over the phone uh, Sheikh Zayd Al Ansari, uh, um, um, a renowned uh, da'i and also regular contributor here with us on Huda TV, and especially on family issues. Thank you very much, uh, Sheikh Zaid, for giving us your time. Jazakum Allah khairan. We are talking about Birr al-Walidayn. Uh, uh, please uh, uh, talk us through, uh, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi man wala. Aki, this is a topic I was just thinking about this yesterday. Because I saw on the internet this, uh, some of the non-Muslims 
were paying attention to Mother's Day in the Western countries. And even I saw some of the Muslims have uh, become, you know, confused and started uh, trying to acknowledge this as a holiday. But when in reality, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us such clear guidance regarding our parents that he, he revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Surah Al-Isra, in the meaning of the ayah, he says, Your Lord has decreed that you worship none but him, and that you are dutiful or kind to your parents. And this is important, and many of the ulama have pointed this ayah out, the importance of making our relationship with our parents connected to Tawheed. And this ayah shows that it is a clear expression of us understanding the import and the significance of to worship and single out Allah alone and worship. And a part of the behavior that immediately follows that is to be kind to your parents. You know, if, if you just think about it, our parents are like a, a electrical extension cord and they were the ones or the conduit through which we arrived in this dunya. Mm. So how could we disconnect, disconnect our source of sustenance and, and relationship to the physical dunya when you unplug the, the extension cord? Subhanallah. Sh Shaykh, give us some tips, uh, some ideas, uh, some uh, on different means of performing uh, acts of, of bir uh, uh, to uh, our parents, especially uh, when they are uh, old. You know, it's one of the uh, ulama from Yemen uh, mentioned this, and he said that one of the things that we can do through our speech and through our body language is to show this kindness of the heart in saying to your parents, you know, I love you, I respect you, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be the man that I am or the woman that I am. I really appreciate this, what you have done for me, and you have raised me as a Muslim. I know what is taqwa, I know what is right, I know what is wrong. And this constant reminder to your parents that what they did, the foundation that they established, all the long hours that they worked, all the sacrifices that they made, actually contributed to your good state of existence that we have right now. Yes. The, next, the other thing that we can do is to never argue with them or negotiate with them. Hmm. Your parents you know, every generation thinks that the things in the common culture and things that people are saying are new. When your parents have seen and heard most of these expressions and seen most of these behaviors before, and sometimes we, we get the wrong idea that we can actually negotiate and convince our parents that the modern, so-called modern times, they are not, you know, up to standards and we're teaching them something. This is a wrong approach. We should respect the hikmah that they have, the experience that they have, the, all that they've seen and understand even before we see it and understand that they understood it. Barakallahu feekum, Shaykh Zayd al-Ansari. Always uh, um, uh, happy to, to listen to you and uh, to get your um, uh, contributions, um, Sheikh Zaid Al Ansari. Jazakumullahu um, Khairan. Um, um, Dr. Dinewi, we had promised our uh, uh, viewers that we'll be answering the questions that yeah. uh, we couldn't answer this past week, so we'll be uh, showing them right now. Uh, on the um, uh, uh, on the screen. Uh, uh, before we do that, th there's just one last important point uh, we want to talk about, and that is acts of bir to uh, your parents 
uh, if uh, um, if they are dead because uh, yeah. beer can, can also uh, extend sure, even sure. after. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Prophet ﷺ, he said in, in the seventh hadith, When a person dies, his connection, his uh, link to this life ended. He has nothing to do except for three things. If he left Sadaqa Jariya, a continuous charity like building a mosque, whatever, then Ilmun Intifab, he was a scholar, he left knowledge, he left books, whatever, and then Waladun Sadah and Walad means both, a male or a female. So what's my duty if my one of my fathers dies, so the parents dies, then I have to make dua for them. You can also contribute in the Sadaq al Jariya, yes, right? Yes, sure. Yeah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the, main, the verse mm. you initially mentioned in the chapter mm. of Isra, وَقُلْ رَبِّرْ حَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِي صَغِيرًا O oh Allah, be merciful to them. O oh Allah, shower your mercy upon them. O oh Allah, remember, subhanAllah, and I, I'm talking about myself, my mm. father died nearly 12 years ago. Mm. And in every single prayer, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive him. Because subhanAllah, it's, it's, it's our duty anyway. A word will cost you nothing. Is it something very expensive to raise your hands and say, Oh Allah, forgive my parents? It's not something. This is one thing. Another thing is also to visit the people that they, they, they uh, as we mentioned, if your father has a very good, sorry, had a very good friend, you can visit him. Ask, call him, Oh uncle, how about you? Do you need anything? Do you need, as the Prophet وسلم, look at what he used to do. Uh, one day he was walking and he uh, he got off his cloak and he put it on the ground and the lady she uh, uh, sat down and he said people asked him oh messenger of Allah who is she he said this lady used to visit us during the time of Khadija yeah, so this is Dr. Dinawi will now take the uh, questions from uh, last week to uh, um, to answer them, the Facebook questions that we didn't manage to, to answer uh, um, in the uh, prior uh, episode. Uh, um, we have two questions here. Uh, uh, ca can we scroll uh, down, please? Because I thought uh, we had seen... Uh, right, here, here's a question. Sheikh, I'm from Sudan. My question is... You know a man, his wife were ill, and they went to a doctor. So a doctor was a man after he took care of her. So when he, he, when he got back home, so he started hitting her until uh, she died just because of the one who took care of her was a man. Uh, um, so will he be uh, killed? Thank you, Sheikh. Um, as, as I understand... Yes. Do you understand, yes. Dr. Dewey? Yes. Can, you answer, can we answer Yeah, because this? it's, it's uh, uh, the man who did this is a sinful, for example. Mm. And he's a killer. He committed mm. a crime. Mm. He's a criminal mm. because he can't do this. Mm. Uh, it's okay for if there is no female doctor, mm. right? And mm. it's difficult, mm. for example, or he doesn't feel safety to take her to a male doctor, a female doctor. So he can't take her to a male doctor in the presence of of the husband himself. Mm. He can't let the wife alone with mm. a male doctor. But mm. what the man did is a big crime, mm. right? Because mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made it prohibited to kill people, mm. to kill innocent. It's not a big sin, a big crime for the lady, for example, to mm. go to a male as long as she is in the company of a man, of her husband. Mm. Right. Mm. So this mm. is wrong, definitely. Indeed. May Allah have mercy upon this lady anyway. Ameen, ameen, subhanAllah. Let's take in another um, of the questions. Uh, that we received uh, on uh, Facebook, and uh, that is uh, from um, Assalamu alaikum. A woman is really emotional, so since that's another story, C can we scroll down? Because uh, in the uh, uh, um, at the top of the the screen, there were other questions. Because this is not a question, uh, and that is also. Uh, okay, L let us get this one. Assalamu alaikum. A woman is really emotional and so sensitive, especially if a woman is pregnant, uh, if to argue or fight, uh, uh, is arguing or fighting with a husband haram, then the husband has the right to leave the wife. Sheikh? Yeah. She's asking because, because uh, uh, the mood or the temper of ladies, it, it becomes yes. difficult or mm. changed when they are pregnant. 
So I'm just talking about to husbands, we have to be kind to them. There are some cases in which the lady mood or temper is getting changed, like pregnancy mm. during her monthly period. Yes, so we have to be patient with them. Mm. And the husband, he doesn't have the, uh, uh, the, the right to beat her. And mm. even if it's, this is the last uh, resort that the, the man can do, if he is, is beating her, he should avoid this area. Mm. Because the face is something owned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made beating as the last resort. And beating is, is with something very, very lightly, very slightly. Indeed. Barakallahu yeah. feekum, Shaykh. So we'll get the final two uh, uh, questions uh, um, that we uh, thought we had to, uh, to answer here in the program. What about while searching, that's Aisha bint Abrar, what about searching uh, for a spouse? So in what matter should we be keen on not compromising in the search and in what matter can we adjust? That's one question. The second uh, a question, uh, the second point mentioned here uh, by uh, Sister Fatima Idris. She says, "Assalamu alaikum." As a wife, you are trying your best to appreciate your husband, but he have never show he never shows his appreciation. Allah said, "Any woman that her husband was not pleased with, Allah is not pleased with her." What shall the woman now do? She's trying her best, but still he is not appreciating. Two, two important uh, yeah. uh, um, questions the, the, yes, here. Uh, and, and the second one, very frustrating, yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. The second one, because unfortunately, mm. some husbands, they mm. misuse their rights, right? Mm. Mm. He is expecting his wife, for example, to be best to her, and he is not. And he always say, oh, remember the hadith that says, if the husband, exactly. for example, is angry, then all angel... So angel, what shall the wife do in that case? She should do her best, for example, but again, the husband himself, he should do his best. Why so always we should take... No, no, I, I mean, the wife obviously is afraid be, uh, of the hadith. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 So yeah. she doesn't want to displease her husband because yeah. she fears that Allah would be, will not be pleased with her. Yeah, so, yeah. so she wants to please Allah. Yeah. She's trying her best with her husband, yeah. but there is no... Uh, May Allah reward oh, yeah. her, and she, she has to do her best, right? Mm. Because the Prophet, yes, he... he uh, promised a big reward for the lady, uh, the, the one who, who can be patient with her husband. If the husband, for example, is not nice to her or whatever, right, she should do his, her best story. And I'm again uh, advising all husbands to remember the Prophet how he was thoughts, dealing so. with his wives. We remember the, the story when Lady Aisha, she broke a container w filled with, milk, with honey, sorry. So the Prophet said, just your mother, uh, Lady Aisha, she felt jealousy. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas, it's something amazing. Our religion is great. He said, I uh, beautify myself uh, for my wife, the same as she is beautifying herself to me. And, 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 and the first question uh, um, from yeah, Sister Aisha, yeah. uh, what is it that we shouldn't compromise when we are looking for a, a partner? Uh, when we are looking for a partner, as, as the oh. Prophet said, yes, the, the, the best thing is uh, So these are the criteria. Mm. These are the uh, privileges or the, re the, the, the requirements from a future husband mm. is to be religious, first of all, mm. and then to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And mm. then he should have a mm. good behavior mm. other w than that. W w you, we're seeing some, some pictures now. Uh, uh, um, regarding some acts uh, of uh, of birr, you, you, you yeah. can s we can see oh, it now on the Allah, screen. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, y your comments, uh, Dr. Denewi, on on, it's on it's such so a picture. It's something amazing, and this is yeah. the least thing to help us. As as, yeah. uh, as we agreed from the very beginning, we are talking about the moment they uh, grow older. So they can't manage themselves. They can't, for example, have food or have medication or whatever. So it's very easy for me to help them. To and because they are the ones giving you the, the, the food and the medicaments yeah, when yes, well, you were a few I months old and when you were children, a few years old. We were old unable to yeah. even uh, yeah. eat yeah. things. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm. We could spill mm. milk, we could spill... I, I mm. have my, my, mm. my daughter Isra, she is two years mm. now, mm. she's spilling milk and uh, doing mm. all these things. Mm. And it's one another, this is... Mm. And in the future, mm. She's going to do the same. When I get mm. older, she's going to take mm. care of me. And the, the, the issue of, uh, and that's another yeah. uh, uh, picture I think there. Is the grandson? Yeah, it looks like a grandson. Yeah, a grandson is uh, um, 
should uh, uh, you, you know the, the, the kids should they look up to their grandparents and, yeah. and, and, and perform acts of bid with their grandparents just like they do with their parents? Yeah, mean, is, yeah. is it the same uh, yes, sure, uh, sure. course? But again, uh, this can be implanted in kids if they can see their fathers and mothers do the same thing. If the father is teaching them, oh, oh, oh sons and daughters, today we are going to visit your grandma and grandpa, as I said, right? So mm. if they see you kind to your parents, they will mm. do the same thing. Mm. But if they see you, unfortunately, mm. not doing this, Mm. Subhanallah, mm. Oh, it's, it's something amazing in a way people mm. are, uh, look here, he is kissing his mm. mother's feet mm. and this is the least thing we can do. Mm. It's not something, uh, as some people say, it's beyond or below my dignity to do this. Mm. No, kiss mm. her feet, kiss her hand, do mm. whatever. Mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not be pleased with you if your parents are not pleased with you. Mm. Right? Th that's it. It's to make it easy, in conclusion, that's it. If they are displeased with you, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never be pleased with you. Barakallah feekum, Dr. Danawi. Well, uh, I guess we couldn't, uh, uh, um, you know, have a better rap than, than those words uh, uh, by uh, Dr. Um, uh, Mahmoud ad um lecturer of Islamic studies at Al-Azhar, uh, um, uh, reminding us uh, that, uh, and making it really very simple, it's, it's you know, the simplest uh, um, uh, um, uh, ideas or the simplest uh, um, uh, sayings are the ones that, that do stick and, yeah, and the ones yeah. that, that we remember. So, uh, again, Allah will not be pleased with us if we do not please our yeah. parents. And from this episode tonight, you can book a place in paradise by being kind to your parents. That's a guarantee from Allah, from His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alayhi salatu wassalam. Barakallahu feekum, Dr. Mahmoud al Dinawi. Always uh, uh, a pleasure um, to have you with us here in the program. The and Jazakumullahu khayran, Dr. Mahmoud al Dinawi um, of Al Azhar. And Jazakumullahu uh, khayran, dear brothers and sisters, for watching us. Uh, thank you for your um, choosing of that topic and we're waiting for your uh, um, choice of the next. Uh, uh, um, next episode's uh, topic again please keep your emails flowing uh, at our Facebook account and uh, also uh, our uh, email uh, accounts until we meet again next week same time inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh you are never alone So now, as you long for your past Prepare for your future But knowing nothing's gonna last You see, this life is but a road A straight and narrow path To our final abode so travel well, O oh Muslim, and paradise will be your home. And always remember that you are never alone.